You may already know that the population of this country is aging, and as the human population ages, so does the canine population. And of course, with aging come a number of uh, problems, things like luxating patella, things like arthritis, and all of them are the problems of uh, older dogs. Uh, already you may have tried giving your dog glucosamine if he has this kind of problem, and chondroitin, which are both excellent products, but a few years ago my business partner had uh, a dog with a luxating patella, and her vet recommended an ingredient called BioCell Collagen 2, which worked wonderfully on her dog's, uh, on her dog's problem. So we, we worked for a little while to try and develop a, pro a product that we could integrate that um, ingredient into, and this is the product. It's called Joint Resolution. It's one of our herbal elixirs, and you put a couple of drops of the product in, directly into the dog's mouth if you can. You see the handy dropper right here. Uh, you can also put it onto a treat. The great thing about BioCell Collagen, too, is if you know anything about collagen, collagen is actually the connective tissue that cushions your joints. And when that starts to wear away, that's when you start to get arthritis. BioCell Collagen, too, is a bioavailable form of collagen. And it actually helps to replenish not only the collagen in the joints, but also the synovial fluid between the joints. So not, are you only helping, not only are you helping to ease the pain, but you're also helping to rebuild the cartilage, rebuild the joint itself so that you're creating a healthier solution to the problem and not just covering up the symptoms. The other thing I would point out about the formula is the biocell collagen is one of the active ingredients, but it also contains a number of herbs like dandelion, which is an excellent diuretic, so it helps to cleanse your dog's system. Also, there are herbs in, in there which will help to mitigate the um, inflammation in your dog's joint, actually so act as anti-inflammatory, so it's a complete formula, both the biocell collagen and herbs. Uh, this is a formula that is perfect, of course, for older dogs, dogs with hip dysplasia, with arthritis, with degenerative uh, um, uh, joint disease, and the nice thing about it is it's very easy to administer. As I say, you can put a couple of drops in the dog's water or you can put it onto a treat and it will work perfectly well. You'll start to see a cumulative effect after you've used it, you know, probably for about uh, three or four weeks and you'll start to see a real change in your dog's, um, your dog's health. And if you want to go to our website at happytailsspa.com, there are tremendous testimonials on this product. We're very happy with this product. Kevin, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Does this product, uh, ha can it be used long term or do I just use it while my dog has pain? Well, obviously, you would start using it when you see the signs of any kind of degenerative disease, but it's used best over the long haul. It actually will, as I say, help to rebuild your dog's joints. The other thing that's great about collagen, it also has other beneficial effects uh, for the skin. Uh, so it'll actually, it should help your dog have better skin and uh, better coat. We're going to start um, today by introducing um, our latest product, Joint Resolution, and the formulator, Mitch Coven. Um, just a little bit of background um, on Mitch. Um, again, he's a formulator of Joint Resolution, and he's a trained medical herbalist, and um, he's personally involved in both clinical work and manufacturing. Um, he has, uh, I think, 25 years of experience, and um, he works with... Um, all kinds of different associations and things like that with um, botanical medicine and, and so on. So he's going to talk a little bit about joint resolution and uh, what it does and why it is so great. Well, thanks for having me on the call. Hopefully I can shed some light on um, quality and uh, applications of uh, joint resolution, at least to start for now. And I, I have been, as uh, um, Lorna was saying, I've been, I had a clinical practice for almost 20 years before most of my focus went into the compounding and formulating side for uh, the products or finished goods that were in the marketplace. So a lot of what I'm going to talk about are things I've personally witnessed one-on-one -on -one while most of my work was, was with people. Uh, most of the applications uh, are therapeutic for pets as well, and I did work with quite a few pets or small animals mostly. So, you know, there, there's one thing to study about botanicals and herbals and, see, you know, study and intellectually know what they do. It's another thing to actually see it in the clinic and get clinical results, which is, you know, the proof in the pudding. And uh, I helped compound the joint resolution product uh, recently, which contains a few different botanicals. And, and the reason it was compounded as such is you, you really have to understand the pathophysiology or why there's a problem in order to know what to do. And no one herbal thing, and even one, nor, nor one medication, is typically going to turn around a, a problem or a system dysfunction. 
And that's why we compound numerous botanicals, because they do different things to help turn around a condition. And in setting it up as such, when we're dealing with joint problems with pets, you know, certainly some um, breeds have, you know, genetic predispositional orientation to joint problems. Uh, some develop over time. Some have been in, in, in accidents. So for, and this, this formulation would be suitable for all the reasons that there could be joint problems. And to keep in mind as I talk about this, this can be used when there's a problem. It could also be used to prevent a problem for, uh, for dogs, cats, uh, that tend toward uh, joint problems, especially as they age. Uh, to break down the formula a little bit, you know, one of the ingredients we put in here, so you can understand how it works, is a product called BioCell Collagen 2. And the BioCell Collagen 2 is a patented ingredient that uh, contains um, hyaluronic acid and chondroitin sulfate. There's been a lot of research to show that uh, these compounds actually help rebuild the cartilage in a joint. As many of you may know, uh, in an articulating or moving joint where bone goes to bone, uh, the end of the bones have cartilage, and they act as a cushioning device. And in between the cartilage are fluid sacs called uh, synovial fluid sacs or bursa fluid sacs. And when you start to have arthritis and pain, typically you have wear on the cartilage, it degenerates, and the fluid sacs, which should be thick and viscous, become watery, thin, and it's kind of like you lose your shock absorber. Um, Very few things actually help to rebuild that, and there's a lot of research out there that especially the chondroitin sulfate actually is a naturally occurring compound you make, and when you supplement with it, and for pets as well, it's responsible for rebuilding the cartilage in the joint and thickening up those fluids in the burst of fluid sacs and the synovial fluid sacs. It's the real deal. The controversy with chondroitin especially is that it's such a big molecule. The question is, is it absorbable? And uh, these are in small enough particle sizes, as is the hyaluronic acid, that they are absorbable. And the patented manufacturers of this ingredient wouldn't even let us have that ingredient unless we put in a therapeutic dose based on their research. So even after we formulated, they reviewed the formula to make sure we were putting it enough in so that it would do something and it wasn't just what we call window dressing. It's on the label because it sounds good, but there's not enough to do anything. This one has enough to do something. So that's an ingredient there when you're, having, you're dealing with joints. It actually helps rebuild the joint. Then we add some other ingredients to deal with things like inflammation, and that herb is devil's claw root. And I purchased that directly uh, where it naturally grows, which is South Africa. It's wild harvested uh, sent to me in large chunks so I can actually identify it correctly, and then in our lab we extract it. And lots of research on devil's claw it's a, as a specific joint anti-inflammatory. So part of the healing process is that you've got to remove that inflammation because it's the inflammation which creates compounds which degenerate a joint. So while you have the biocell rebuilding the joint, you've got to stop why it's breaking down. You've got to get rid of that inflammation, and here's a way to do it without all those, you know, steroids, which you may want to avoid in going a natural course. So we have the devil's claw, which is a joint anti-inflammatory. It's also a connective tissue anti-inflammatory. And connective tissue is that tissue that's a web-like through the body of your pets that uh, covers all bone and muscle. And, you know, in humans, at least, we say, well, when someone has systemic pain or pain all over, it's like a fibromyalgia, chronic pain which can just start with chronic joint problems or an accident and just kind of morph so that it's all over the body. Um, Devil's Claw helps decrease inflammation in that tissue as well, which is just an extra needed thing sometimes when the discomfort is is long and, you know, the inflammation can spread beyond the original point of problem and become systemic or all over. So Devil's Claw is an inflammatory. Then we add in uh, licorice root, and licorice root, while some of you may only be thinking of those candy whips, uh, licorice root is really a plant and uh, primarily grows in Egypt where we get it, and we actually get a certified organic licorice root. Licorice root increases naturally occurring corticosteroids. It is not a corticosteroid. It actually increases blood levels of what you naturally have and therefore acts as an anti-inflammatory. So devil's claw works in the joint, but licorice root works all over the body through a different chemical pathway to also help decrease inflammation because the reason you may have inflammation can be varied, 
I don't know, you don't know, your doc doesn't know, the vet doesn't necessarily know why the inflammation is there, which specific chemical pathway. So the beauty in doing a formulation is you try to approach different methodologies as to why there's a problem. So we add the licorice root for that reason. We also add in dandelion root, which is also organic, and dandelion root is a mild diuretic, so it will decrease fluids which can add to joint swelling when there's a problem. So there's dandelion root in there as well. And then the last ingredient is boswellia. Boswellia is the Latin name for frankincense, which is the uh, gum exudiate of a tree. You know, it's biblical, as you probably know, but boswellia has a lot of research as well as an anti-inflammatory through, again, a third uh, chemical pathway. So what we do is we combine all of these things with the intent of decreasing inflammation, uh, help rebuilding the joint, and it is for pain. It is for inflammation. It is for rebuilding the joints, for dysplasia. It can be used for wear and tear. Again, I want to reinforce that not only can this be used when there's a problem and it's notable, it can be used preventatively if uh, your breed tends to have these problems, and in which case, maybe you don't do it every day for their whole life, but as they're getting on, maybe for a month or two a year preventatively, um, it would be indicated, you know, just throw it in some food and uh, use it that way. Um, and you dose up or down according to the weight of your animal. So uh, while there's a recommended dosage on the label, if, if you have a 130-pound you know, puppy there, you're going to have to increase the amount uh, that you're using just because of the sheer mass. And if you have a nine-pound, you know, dog, you're, you're going to decrease the amount. It's just common sense stuff. Um, so we've seen great results with uh, joint resolution. We've used these uh, this kind of a blend with um, humans as well. And uh, the, the main point is to use it um, consecutively, meaning every day. You don't just take it once and look the next day to see a change. You have to use it ongoing, um, you know, once or twice a day with each meal. Follow the directions on the label, and you'll see results. And, again, the botanicals are organic. Uh, the devil's claw is wildcrafted. There's no pesticides. These are all produced in our FDA-registered, good manufacturing, procedured, uh, certified uh, lab here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So it's a top quality control uh, that you can possibly have in terms of uh, how these is manufactured. Mitch, what kind of, um, you know, for most of the people on the call have, have stores, and so for what kind of conditions could they feel comfortable recommending joy resolution, like arthritis, luxating patellas, um, what other kinds of things? Yeah, yeah, hip dysplasia, um, uh, you know, injuries, traumas, accidents to the pet. I mean, I would say if your pet's with any kind of uh, trauma whatsoever where there was damage to tissue, um, this could be helpful there as well, but certainly arthritis, whether it's osteo or, or rheumatoid, this is absolutely indicated um, because of the wear and tear. It's going to rebuild the cushioning in the joints. Uh, a, lot but, of, a, a lot of questions, uh, we get this question a lot of time. you know, people want to know how long is it going to take until they see results. You know, that's a good question. Yeah. I mean, you know, and of course, you know, it's hard to talk to your pet and have them just say, but, you know, you've got to be on this thing for, you know, a good three, you know, two, three weeks. Um, because, it, you know, typically these conditions don't occur overnight. They don't turn around overnight either. So you've got to give it a good, you know, three-week course. And if you're seeing results, you want to stay on it for, you know, maybe three months, you know, and, and turn things around. And, again, if it's a chronic uh, orientation for your animal and they're getting on in years, they can stay on it if you're seeing results, you know, for every day for the rest of their lives. Um, but if you're seeing results and you feel like, you know, you want to start weaning off it by just giving less for a couple of weeks and then stopping completely and see if they maintain, uh, that's a good idea as well once you have uh, the result you're looking for. Um, we have a chat going on on the website. Um, this might be a good question for you. Uh, people always ask, you know, is this is joint resolution like glucosamine? And do they need to be taking glucosamine in addition to, to joint resolution or is joint resolution enough? Uh, you know, it, it depends. Um, it, it may be enough. Uh, there's different approaches. Certainly, you know, the biocell has the chondroitin and the hyaluronic acid and the, the other botanicals. The chondroitin and glucosamine, the intent is, to, you know, pretty similar in terms of what they're trying to do. So it's thoroughly possible the joint resolution will achieve its goal by itself. It wouldn't 
hurt to add some glucosamine in um, as well if you just want to, you know, quote, unquote, go for it and try the kitchen sink method. Just go for everything. And you just throw everything in, and uh, that, that, that would be fine, but it's not necessary. Um, and there's another question. Um, if, if you would recommend joint resolution for um, sporting dogs, you know, dogs that, during sporting season and show dogs and that kind of thing. Well, you know, um, sporting dogs, you know, it depends. If they're really young and they haven't been doing it a long time, you know, they, they shouldn't need this unless they're being overly used on a regular basis in terms of their physical activity. So if, it, if it's a sporting dog and it's pretty vigorous with a lot of impact, you know, again, you know, I wouldn't recommend this to <clears throat> an 18-year-old kid who's in competitive sports or maybe even a 22-year-old kid, but if they're a professional athlete, these are dogs that are competing at a high level and they're middle-aged, absolutely. If they're not showing any symptoms, um, I would do this maybe for a month or two a year just to be on the preventative side. If they're getting up there in age, you know, they're probably going to have some problems in their joints from all the activity when they were younger. So uh, it depends upon their age and their activity. But again, uh, if they're young and it's kind of a new activity, they shouldn't need it. Um, and, and uh, you know, but again, if they're middle-aged and they've been competitive for a little while, absolutely. Um, and I think the last question before we move on, um, some people are, are, are asking um, if their dog is on a, um, like a pharmaceutical type of, of uh, drug for arthritis, um, does this, would joint resolution kind of contradict it or would there be any kind of, um, you know, problems taking a pharmaceutical ingredient along with this? You know, that's a great question and an appropriate question. You should always question what, you, what, what if you're in a pharmaceutical, should I take a supplement with it? And this is completely safe uh, to take with a pharmaceutical. Uh, if anything, is trying to achieve a similar goal if the pharmaceutical is for joint pain or inflammation or even a corticosteroid. And people may say, well, gosh, it's so much. You know, is it too much of everything? And my response usually to that is, well, isn't that the goal? So that if the, you know, the, <clears throat> the herbal supplement here is achieving that goal, uh, working with your vet, you know, wean the animal off the uh, prescription, which tends to have more side effects, more toxicity and other problems, it would be wonderful that you can just transition into just joint resolution uh, because you're maintaining, um, you know, healing, true healing really, on something much safer that you can even eventually wean off of. So, Yes, you, it's safe to combine together. It's indicated to combine them together because this will do additional things and then look for a weaning process on the uh, uh, medication toward joint issues. And I always say, you know, work with your, your vet because, you know, they're more educated than you, to, you know, on how to go about this. 